for every access point that Extreme Network makes, it's mandatory for us to publish the radio patterns uh, of these. And we do that on our data sheets. And that's very important. Why? Because if you need access points to cover any location, be it a hospital, be it a hotel, corridors, a school, whatever it might be, if you know the type of pattern that the radio uh, antennas transmit, then you can figure out what's the best to use for that particular situation. Now, ideally, what we want is we want to be able to put an access point in a room. Let's take a classroom, for example. You want to take the access point. You want to place it somewhere in the room. And what you want is for this radio, for the antennas, to transmit these radio waves, to propagate these radio waves so that it fills that entire room. Now, radio waves, right, are electromagnetic, which means they are going to penetrate and they're not going to be confined inside a classroom. Maybe if you made something that's out of thick concrete walls, well, maybe in that case it would it would kind of remain within that area but generally radio travels through walls everybody has experienced this if your next door neighbor you know has a wi-fi access point guess what if you search on your phone you probably see their wi-fi from the one side and maybe two or three houses down from the other radio waves travel through different mediums and every one of these mediums has different attenuation levels. It's a fancy word, but what does it mean? It means that as it travels through a wall, for example, it comes in with a certain amount of energy. The wall, the barrier, absorbs some of that energy. Remember, energy can't be destroyed. So energy is transformed into heat. If you measure it, is that the most sensitive equipment? You can measure that. It travels through, hits that wall, and it loses some energy, but it keeps on traveling. And in fact, it just keeps on traveling for eternity. It doesn't stop. It just gets weaker and weaker and weaker. That's why you see these large antennas, like in Cambridge, pointed at the sky. Why are they so large? So that they can listen to these faint signals. So these patterns, what do they mean? First of all, notice that there are two because one of them is for an access point when it's placed in a ceiling, when it's placed somewhere above, maybe the center of a, a room or a hall in a school. And the other one is what you do when you place it on a wall, the radiation pattern that this thing emits when you play it, when you put it onto a wall and there'll be brackets etc etc so look at that pattern it's generally round not perfectly round it will never be perfectly round and sometimes it is more focused and shaped let me give you an example let me show you a practical demonstration so here's a purple balloon and I'm gonna pump up that balloon I can't pump it too much right um, I've already got one like this, so I'll just chuck that away. And let's take another one. That's one that I've already sealed up. Now look what happens when I place my fingers. It's difficult, right? It's difficult. This has got a lot of air in it. But do you see when I press down how I can shape the pattern of that balloon? It, if, if I could press hard enough, if I could compress the air inside you, hard enough without bursting this balloon it would look like a donut it would look like that radiation pattern and so when you see the axis point standing like this against the vertical surface look at that pattern that's what it looks like that's the pattern that it emits from that antenna so when you when you when you put it on a ceiling and you press down you see the radiation pattern right again it's looking like a donut and of course if i take two three or four fingers and i press this together look what happens i can shape that 
I can shape the radio wave. And that is what actually happens inside one of these. This has internal antennas. Some of them have external antennas. Sometimes people refer to them as bunny ears. No, they're not bunny ears. But those allow you to point. Why? To point the, the, the transmission that comes from that antenna. To point it in a particular direction. Right? What are you doing? We are shaping that antenna. That antenna is designed and it's been shaped to point at a particular, like down a corridor, for example, or in a warehouse. That is what those patterns mean. Now, I have another illustration just to reinforce that concept. I'm going to be using a microphone. Now, a microphone is a device to which it responds to uh, audio waves, right? Uh, matter waves, matter waves that move in, in, in matter. They, they have an effect. You can put it up against a piece of paper and you can actually see that paper move. Electromagnetics, you can't. So let me use a microphone like this. I'm going to use this. It's a different type of wave. It's not an electromagnetic wave. This is a physical wave, right? If, if I had a piece of paper and I put it in front of a speaker and I play loud music, that speaker, that paper is going to move. Why? Because it's, 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 I'm physically moving air. This microphone is a, a great microphone, but it's, it's, a, it's a directional microphone. It's best when you speak with this pointed directly at your mouth. So listen to the audio as I bring this microphone closer to myself, right? I'm talking, I'm talking, and as I bring it closer, my voice gets warmer and warmer. I'm not talking louder. I'm not talking any different. And you can see the richness. You can not see. You can hear the richness of this. Now, look what happens if I turn it away from me and I now start to talk, right? You can still hear me. But can you see that the sound has been reduced tremendously? So what's happening over here is if you speak in front of this, it is listening. It is picking that up, but it is essentially dead in this area over here. Professional podcasting microphones will have a figure of eight pattern, right? Which means they hear in the front, they hear in the back but they don't hear anything on the sides so if we then put that down and look at the example of this again then you can see that those patterns that that go out from this balloon the patterns that radiate out of this balloon they can be constrained they can be shaped and in some patterns in some antennas you will get better signal right in front, but nothing to the sides. This is the beauty of radio antennas. And this is what those diagrams, those two diagrams are telling you when you read them. One, the azimuth, that's what happens if I basically stand on top of this access point, right down in the middle, that's directly below me. That's the pattern that radiates out this way. And if I set it up like this, that's the pattern that radiates in this particular direction. I hope this has been interesting. I hope that you've learned something from this video.